In addition to traditional RDBMSs, Data Explorer can also connect to NoSQL databases, MongoDB. Just come in here under FireDAC, MongoDB, add new connection. We'll call it restaurants as our friendly name. And we just define it here. The driver ID is called Mongo. We give it a server IP address. Since I'm not connecting to a local server, it's a remote IP address. If I'm using username and password, I can provide those here. In this case, I'm not. You can use Mongo Advanced to pass advanced parameters to MongoDB during the connection. And you can optionally specify a database as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hit test. And we've connected successfully to MongoDB. So now we've created our restaurants connection here. And I can expand this and it shows the option to show tables, views, and procedures. But there's not really the concept of tables, views, and procedures in MongoDB. It's different. MongoDB has collections instead of tables. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this like it is, and I'll show you how we'll connect to it. I'm going to say new, we'll do a fire monkey application. This works with uh, VCL as well. And we're going to drag our connection over here. Once we've done that, we're going to come over here and we're going to find a Mongo query. You know, notice we have a Mongo dataset query and pipeline. These components are specific to MongoDB because, like I said, MongoDB is different. It doesn't have traditional data sets, it doesn't have tables, and so the way you work with them is a little differently, so that's why you have custom components for it. Uh, a pipeline is used to da transform data. It's very, very cool technology. And let's specify a database name here. So it's already got our connection here, so a database is test. So you notice it has enumerated all the databases available to us, and the collection is restaurants. Again, it's enumerated that, and so it connects to it, autom or finds that automatically. And now we'll connect to it. Once we've done that, we're going to bind this. We'll bind visually. And we'll just uh, link to new control the grid. Okay. And here we go. We've connected to our MongoDB database. Got design time data. So now we're going to run this for our user. Again, you have to install the MongoDB client. That's all explained in the doc wiki. And one thing that's really cool here, and I'll expand this so you can see this, is MongoDB has the concept of embedded collections. So a collection can have a collection mm -hmm. embedded in it. In this case, we have a, the address is embedded. And so we have the coordinates, we have the street address, zip code, street name, etc., all embedded in here. The grid's able to handle that automatically. Very cool. And that's all there is to connecting to MongoDB.